All right, look, I, first off, I know my room's a mess. All right, don't tell me. I know I look like I'm burning up. It's like 80 degrees in this house. Just focus on me, all right? F focus, focus on me. Mario Kart 9 has been something that's been trending a lot recently, and it's been announced that there has been a uh, development for the new game. Mario Kart 9 is in development, and a lot of people are speculating what this new game could be about. Now, if you've been on the hellhole that is Twitter, or all of these special analysts out there are looking into the possible developments for this new Mario Kart game, you'll see a lot of connections. You'll see a lot of people talking about Nintendo Kart, and then you'll see people arguing that it should be called Mario Kart 9. And I think that this sparks a very, very important conversation that needs to be had because there is a massive difference in between the two names, but you can see that the community still wants relatively the same thing. What people want with a Nintendo Kart is for there to be more representation. More representation is definitely needed in Mario Kart. You know, we've had a lot of games with Mario Kart where we've had like the Gold Peach and the, you know, the Gold Luigi and the new baby characters that are in there and whatnot and we're kind of tired of seeing these basic Mario reps making it only into Mario Kart. I mean, I know it's called Mario Kart, but we kind of want to see something a little bit different and I think that's why people want the name Nintendo Kart to exist instead of Mario Kart. I think uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe did this very well by including Inkling and Lincoln as some new playable characters. I think that that was probably one of the coolest things ever because I enjoyed playing Inkling. There were just so many different skin tones of Inkling, so many fun customizable variants, and they had really cool and unique car parts to them. And I had a really good time with that. I enjoyed the playthrough of that. I think that that representation was really cool. And I think that this is something that Nintendo should focus on when they are developing and moving on to the next main Mario Kart 9 series. I'm unsure of what more gameplay elements they could really add. There could be a lot of stages they could implement. Maybe they'll add something new effects with like the carts and whatnot. Maybe the maps will be different in a sort of way. Maybe we'll get kind of two maps in one instead of it being just one map. You know, I know Smash Ultimate had the thing where the stage would morph, you know, and you could have two stages in one game. Maybe they'll do something like that with uh, no, no Mario Kart 9 as it's uh, suspected to be called. I'm really unsure about that, but I really do want to focus and see a lot more representation for this new Mario Kart game because I think that that's going to be important. That's going to what be what brings in people. You know, we need to see all of our favorites in there, but we need to see more faces too. A lot of people are going to ask, JT, what people do you want to see come into Mario Kart or Nintendo Kart as people like to call it? And I think seeing a lot more characters from games that we don't really play that much would be pretty cool. I mean, we play Pokemon. I think having some Pokemon reps in there would be pretty neat. I would like to see the Pokemon trainer come and slide on in. I love ARMS. That game is just such a beautifully crafted video game. I think it really did shine for when its release happened, but died down very quickly. Uh, seeing like Spring Pan, Spring Man, or Ribbon Girl, or some of the more iconic characters from ARMS in there, it would be really, really cool. And I think just in general, multiple Nintendo games, maybe like Bomberman, if he hasn't already been added in to Mario Kart as well, in the uh, recent iterations of it as well. Just a lot of spontaneous characters that could definitely make their way into Mario Kart into the future. But I thought this would be interesting to discuss because we are moving into the development of one of the biggest games that consistently sells across Nintendo consoles. Mario Kart is a beloved franchise. You know, a lot of family members get together, a lot of adults, a lot of children love to play Mario Kart, and it's gonna be a very big experience because this game tops the charts on multiple storefronts every single time. You know, when Christmas is nearing, families get Mario Kart when they go and grab Metroid Dread for their son as well, you know, and I think it's important. It's important for Nintendo to listen to this. It's important for Nintendo to get this right, because if they don't get it right, well, then they could mess up one of their most popular franchises and this newest game would be very hard to sell. And it's already looking kind of hard to sell from there because Mario Kart 8 Deluxe really has a lot of amazing elements to it that really don't need to be unchanged in my honest opinion. I look to ask some of you viewers to see what your thoughts on this new Mario Kart 9 announcement would be. And I had an one response. I had a response here from Jello. Thank you for responding to the community post. And they said, I honestly don't see a reason as to why they should make a new Mario Kart game. The whole rumor reminds me on how Inner Sloth tried to make a sequel to Among Us, but quickly changed their minds on developing Among Us. You 
You can't improve on something that is already perfect. If Nintendo were able to make a Mario Kart 9, the best they could do is either add car customization, new maps, and have slightly better graphics. Even then, I feel as though that wouldn't justify a $30 or $40 buy when they could just add that to Mario Kart 8 instead. And Jello has a really good point about that. That's something I've already hit on a little bit in this video as well, but I do want to reiterate that because I feel like Mario Kart is at a really good stage. I mean, obviously the DS games were probably one of my best and favorited experiences. I feel like a lot of that is also blocked by the nostalgia of teaming up and being young, but I just feel like we have evolved with Mario Kart so much that seeing a new mechanic would just be very interesting. I really wonder what Nintendo could add to this game to make it something completely different from what we've seen before. Innovation is great, but you know, if you innovate too much, you may be oversaturating a game. So that's my big concern with Mario Kart 9 as well there, Jello. So thank you for sharing your thoughts on that. And again, if any of you have your thoughts, Discuss it down in the comments below. I'll be there, I'll mark your comments, and we'll take a look at it and discuss that there civilly as well. But yeah, that's really all I wanted to talk about for this video. I think Mario Kart 9 is interesting, so let me know what you think again down in the comments below. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, let me know that down in the comments below as well. Hit that like and the subscribe button. I am aiming consistently for 20,000 subscribers by the end of this year. So let me know and just go on ahead and subscribe if you like what's going on here. I'm gonna be trying to bring a lot of amazing news News and a lot of conversations to the channel. I really want to bring that here because I like discussing stuff with you guys and I hope you enjoy discussing it back with me as well. But without further ado, thank you guys and gals for watching and peace out.